Hey everybody, it's Heather and welcome to Mystic Musings. Again, I'm gonna use this really cheap white clown makeup and hope for the best. Uh, so first, I'm just gonna dab this under my eyebrows because I figured, you know what, if I want that to stand out, why not use clown white? So I'm just patting that on. And the one thing I did take away from the failed time I tried to use this is that if you use just a little um, and let it, you know, kind of dry, it sits pretty well. Uh, and so as you can see, what it looks like there is pretty much how it stayed. And I was pleased with that. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> beggars can't be choosers. Um, you know, I really want these Halloween makeup tutorials to be the kind of thing that you could do not only really quickly, but for really, really cheap. So, you know, for like a dollar, I'm just gonna take this and roll with it. And I did prime my face already with foundation. I didn't do any sort of contouring or any of that nonsense because, hey, I'm gonna look like I have a pop art face, so who needs it? Uh, again, there is my Urban Decay powder because when I was filming, I noticed that I was pretty shiny and ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just going over that and also um, even the clown white because, hey, if I can keep it there, I'm going to do everything I can to keep it there. Uh, nice. So next, I am going to take my black eyeliner pencil. I don't remember what brand this is. I think it's Urban Decay. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. It's, it's good and sparkly and I like that. Uh, and I'm just going to give myself some black eyebrows because, you know, that matches my red hair perfectly. Um, so I just am going in and kind of giving my eyebrows a little apostrophe um, because with the whole pop art thing, you know, you have to remember it's all exaggerated. It's all very animated. Um, Andy Warhol would not have wanted me to have boring eyebrows. So the more expressive, the better. Um, then I'm just adding a couple more little apostrophes in between my eyes so you know as if I was sort of squinting you want to make those lines um, currently it looks like I'm giving myself little nostrils remember the mighty ducks do you guys remember that movie for some reason I'm just thinking about like duck bills now I don't know what's happening anyway uh, doing the same thing on the other eyebrow not in you know difficult at all just go over your eyebrow there you go boom you're a makeup master um, yeah, then don't do not do what I did and mess up. But anyway, so there you go. Happy times. I look, I look like I'm colorblind, but okay. And then I'm just going in and giving myself right in the corner of my eye, right in that little tear duct, um, just another little apostrophe, following the natural curvature of my nose, outlining that. Um, that feels so weird, but yep, there it is. Cute. Then I'm just going to line the bottom half of my lip and the top. And I'm going to mess up royally right here. And I'll go back and fix that. Yeah, that's not good. Great. So currently, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm turning more into Frida Kahlo than a pop art person. But hey, we're going to make it happen. So cheekbones jawline this is like contouring with a permanent marker is what i feel like i'm doing um bringing it down now if you were gonna do this uh, and i hope that someone does i mean i hope that someone actually gets some help out of this um you know if you were wearing not a sturgis t-shirt circa 1999 you would want to follow the lines down but i just did my neck because that's all you can really see so then i'm just going under my eyes like i would normally and <laughs> I was going to do false lashes again, like some actual nice ones, not the ones I used in the other makeup tutorial, but I thought, you know what, if I'm trying to make this stuff super easy and super quick, the last thing somebody wants to do is put false eyelashes on their eyelids before they run out of the house. So I thought, you know what, forget it. We're going to skip that. So um, that's not going to come up in this video, FYI. Uh, so I'm just going in, giving those little apostrophes right in the creases of my eyes and then following them down. Um, <laughs> if any of you watch Pretty Little Liars, yes, don't judge me. I've seen it. Uh, the last like season finale, uh, Allie had this terrible makeup and I feel like that's all I'm doing right now because it just, 
Oh, there goes my dog. Because it just was not, it wasn't cute. But anyway, so do that. Do that. Alison de la Rentes makeup. Um, yep. And it's not really even, but hey, who cares? And there again. Good. So I feel like the good thing is that so far I can kind of see what's happening. Like I do feel like, um, maybe it's just because I'm familiar with pop art, but just like looking at myself, I get it. Like I understand the direction this is going in. So I feel like that's a good sign. So next I'm going to take my NYX, uh, red lipstick. It is my favorite. It is 511. Uh, it's called chaos. I think I called it classic in the last one. My bad, but it is called chaos. Uh, I love, love, love NYX. If you are not familiar with the brand, you should really check them out because they're affordable, but like quality, which is just unheard of. So anyway, love, love, love NYX. Um, just putting that on my mouth, you know, where lipstick goes, uh, and making sure you can see me. Then I'm taking my NYX Wicked Dreams palette, my favorite thing. And I'm just going in with that just matte black and my angled brush. These brushes are super cheap, so don't think I'm using really nice brushes. Totally not. Uh, and pay no attention to the girl behind the mirror. All I'm doing is going over all the lines I made with that eyeliner with my black eyeshadow, and then fixing where I totally smudged it up. If you do this method and you do use an angled brush to go over your lines, um, with the exception of the eyebrows, I would tap instead of pull. I did, um, at the beginning I was just pulling over lines and it was making it really sloppy. So, uh, I would just kind of pat the lines out. So there's that looking nice and exaggerated, uh, going over that lip line, just anywhere I put black eyeliner, I'm just patting over that, um, with the black shadow and my angled brush. And there you have it. So nothing too special about what just happened, just kind of went over what we had already done. So next I am going to bring that clown makeup back and with my foam applicator, my little foam tip applicator, um, that still has remnants of the lipstick from the last tutorial. Uh, and I'm just patting it in there and doing a little highlight on that lip because if you have ever seen, you know, any drawings, any pop art stuff, you know, there's always that as if they have a very, very shiny lip and the light is just reflecting off of this. Um, so I thought that was fun. That was a cute little touch, super easy, but don't <laughs> make the mistake of patting your lips together like you would lipstick because you know what? You're just gonna look gross. So back to my NYX and still using that foam tip applicator. Uh, all I'm doing is putting that on my hand I'm gonna really need some more lipstick after these tutorials. Uh, and all I'm doing is just rubbing the foam tip applicator in there and at an angle, like a good diagonal, I am just basically giving myself chicken pox. Um, I, it's not like anyone's going to look at you and see if you did a pattern, but I do feel like at least sort of following a clean diagonal, it makes it look a little less like you're sick and a little more like you were painted by Andy Warhol or someone else. I know he's not the only one, but we all know who he is. So I just did this for the remainder of my face. And after that, there you have it. So uh, pretty time consuming to do the dots. And by time consuming, I mean it takes all of like three minutes. Um, but that's probably the only thing that took any time or real thought. Um, after that, all I did was go through, give myself uh, some eyeliner and just one really quick swipe of mascara. Now, would this look cooler with some exaggerated false lashes? Sure. Do you need them? I don't think so. Um, I think, I mean, I went, <laughs> I went to my parents and, um, visited and was like, you guys know what pop art is? And, uh, my mom had no idea. So that was a sad moment, but my dad did. And they at least understood. I mean, neither of them when I showed up were like, do you have the chicken box? So I feel like that was good. Um, you know, it's, of course, I, I sent a picture to one of my coworkers and she said, you look like you have a bad case of the chicken pox. And I asked if she knew what pop art was and she said no. So, you know, it's just sort of the chance you take. Uh, if people are familiar, they're going to think it's really cool. If they're not familiar, they're going to think that they need to stay away from you because you're sick and potentially contagious. But remember kids, get your vaccines and don't get the chicken pox. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. I had a lot of fun doing this one. I think it's so, I think it's just like really, really cute. 
Uh, there's a ton of things you could do with it. You could do all different colors. If in and probably to make it less chicken poxy, uh, if you used blue or purple, um, you know, or, or any color, orange, anything like that, um, you know, you'd still get the same effect and maybe a little less um, confusion. But regardless, I had a ton of fun and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.